This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides, and over the years when I've been dealing with Adobe, I found that they regularly try to jack up the prices, and there's one way to actually get the old price back or even get a discount, and that's to threaten to leave. Let's see how it works in practice. So I just received an email this morning from Adobe saying they're going to be jacking up the price. Let's take a look and see exactly what they're saying, and then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to try to counter that. So they said we're going to be raising the price of Acrobat Pro from from uh, fifteen dollars to twenty dollars, and just so you know, raising the price from fifteen to twenty that's not a five percent rise, that's not a ten percent rise. It's a thirty three percent jump in the price. It's ridiculous. It's outrageous. I don't want to pay this extra money, and I'm going to try to cancel the account. So either they'll stick with the old price. And maybe if they don't let me do that, then I'll just cancel the account. And that's actually one thing that you should understand. You know, you should be ready to walk if things aren't working out. So let's see what happens here. Uh, go to my Adobe account or customer support. Let's go to the Adobe account, see how this works out. So they're going to force me to sign in. No problem. Continue. Okay, I'm going to manage the plan. It gives me available actions. Fortunately, I can see Adobe actually makes it relatively easy to get to this step. I've dealt with some companies before that make it really, really hard to cancel, including New York Times, Boston Globe, the online services I've subscribed to in the past. If you want to cancel or change your plan, they force you to talk to a human being on the phone. And of course, you have to call during business hours. They give you some pitch. They talk to you. Even if you just want to cancel the plan, you can't do it online. They force you to talk. Another tactic I've seen for Ancestry.com is they make you jump through a million hoops to get to the button that says cancel the plan. So they really make it difficult. Adobe looks like they're making it easy. So let's see what happens. Cancel the plan. Um, which of these describes your experience? So this is important. I mean, what I actually want is just to keep the old price. And let's see if they'll let me do that. But you have to you have to let them know what the problem is. So I'm going to say too expensive. 33% uh, jump in monthly pricing is ridiculous. A couple exclamation points there. And let's see what happens when I continue. Oh, we want to help you find the best plan suited for your needs. Switching to a new product and changing the details of your current plan is fast and easy. And you don't have to cancel to do it. I don't want to change the plan. I want to I want to cancel it because right now, actually through Adobe, I only have one primary tool that I'm using, so there's no, I can't really go much lower than that. So I can just say no thanks. Let's see what they say. Um, canceling your Adobe Pro plan means you'll be losing access to your current pricing. Ooh, as the price of Acrobat Pro has increased, um, you won't be able to do these features. I know that, and your cloud storage will be reduced from 100 gigabytes to two gigabytes. I don't care about that because I don't even use Adobe Cloud Storage. I don't like it. So I'm just going to say continue. Uh, Ian, before you decide to cancel, consider these offers. So they say uh, find a plan that's right right for you. Um, let's chat. Let's check for a custom deal. Keep the same plan for 33% less. Discount for your first year. So they're <laughs> so this is this is great. They told me that they're going to be jacking up the price to $20 per month. When I threaten to leave, they're dropping the price to $10 per month. So this is exactly what I was looking for. Hmm, sounds pretty good. I'll get the details. Plan details. Um, your new plan will end today, and your your current plan will end today, and your new plan will be start effective immediately. Annual plan paid monthly, $10 per month, 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. These are the these are the services that I want. I'm good. So right, I've just said instead of <laughs> before today, I was going to be paying an extra sixty dollars per year for my plan, uh, for a total of let's see what is that uh, two hundred and forty dollars or something like that. Instead, I've just dropped the price to about a hundred and twenty dollars. I think that's a good outcome, but you have to threaten to cancel. That's how it works. Uh, if this video helped you out, please take a moment to uh, like it and follow me. And also, if you go to in30minutes.com, that's our official site. You can see all of our guides that we have for technology and dealing with the many headaches that come up when you're dealing with tech companies. Thank you so much for watching.